Hey, it's Greek Edge Guru here with a quick tutorial on how to make an adapter for your CO2 tanks to go to a regular size 16 gram threaded Ultraflate Plus. And this can also be used for other purposes. Um, it really depends on your need. But this is the CO2 tank that I'm going to be using. And I have a larger one that's that I'm just using for demonstration, but this would be connected to an extension, and then it's going to be connected to this quick release adapter, and then this is basically it. You have CO2 tank, some sorry, a, a cut 16 gram CO2 cartridge, some other things like this is a thread cap for protecting your threads on your CO2 tanks, some O-rings, and Teflon tape. So I'll just give you the complete list. You'll need your Innovations Ultraflate Plus, if this is the purpose that you want to use it for. You'll need JB Weld, a thread protector. You can get these off eBay, five for like $12. Um, these you, these are O-rings. You can get them from Home Depot, and you want to get a thick gauge one to really give you a good airtight seal. Then you want Teflon tape and a used CO2 cartridge. So first, you'll want to start out by cutting your CO2 cartridge to size. This is about an inch and a half, and then you'll want to sand that down and make it as flat and the at the end as possible so that when it sits on the end of your thread protector that there's no um, ricketing or you know you just want it to be sitting on there as flat and as flush as possible and then you want to prepare your co2 threader thread protector and see down there you can there's a little divot you can use that as a guide for drilling your through to the bottom and you'll want to start with the smallest size drill bit and then work your way up and then you'll get something similar to this and it doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to be pretty you just need to get a nice decent size hole through there so that you can get a, a good amount of airflow and then you just take your JB weld and really tack it on there you want to get as much as possible so that this thing does not dislodge and hurt anyone because there's a lot of pressure in these tanks and you don't want them to explode or have anything break like that so um, the good thing about this is since there's this little divot at the top and this um, lip it really helps anchor it down and this isn't going anywhere this is completely 100 percent solid and um, it's pretty safe so after you've done all that You'll want to take your quick release and put the O-ring at the very bottom. And that's right there. And you want to put as much Teflon tape on there as possible. You may even want to add an extra O-ring. This is a smaller size one on top or above the larger size O-ring. And then that way when you screw it down, you get a really good airtight seal that won't leak. So let me just use this. See, then what you do is just screw this into your whatever adapter you want. And then screw down as far as possible until you may even want to use a wrench. You want to make that as airtight as possible. I think that's about all I can do. Um, so you can see there's a thick, those are the two rubber O-rings and crap load of Teflon tape to keep it airtight because these aren't meant to be airtight at all. They're just meant to protect the threads so that they don't get damaged when you're transporting them. So <clears throat> there it is. I'll demonstrate it real quick. Take the CO2 adapter and it goes on like that. And pressurize the air tank. There we go. 
and then you just pull the trigger. And that, this is going to be really useful for making larger size air guns so that I don't have to use these small CO2. It's going to be a lot more cost effective. And, um, you could even use this to inflate your tires so that you don't have to carry around a electric um, inflator. This could just go straight onto your car tire and then you have this entire tank to fill your tires when you get into an accident when you get uh, not an accident but when you have a flat tire instead of calling whatever insurance company or instead of doing it by hand and if you just need some air to get back to a gas station to get it serviced this would be a perfect utility to have in your car um, you could also use this for um, cleaning up your desktop um, instead of buying those CO2 canned air for cleaning your keyboard you could just use this and I think a refill for this tank is like two dollars and thirty cents or something like that so once you have the tank bought all you have to do is keep refilling it and um, I think this has a lot of uses other than just what I'm using it for um, I'm planning on doing something with an airsoft mortar, like a rocket launcher for airsoft, um, something like a big Gatling gun that's just going to have a huge clip of airsoft BBs. Um, I was going to use the smaller CO2 tank to make an SMG. I was going to somehow make a clip system for airsoft, I'm sorry, for blowgun needles, and then make like a needler or a spiker from the Halo series that would shoot these at a really high velocity and a really high rate. I think that would be really awesome to see. So just a lot of ideas and a lot of doors that have been opened because before you really couldn't go from CO2, um, you couldn't go from a paintball tank to a trigger without having a paintball gun or something along the lines of that. Now th with this adapter I think it's going to change things and I'm going to try to work with someone to make these actually um, on the market that you can maybe buy from me or something like that because um, not everyone has the tools to actually cut down the metal and all that stuff. So it was time consuming but it wasn't too bad and I think the uh, work will definitely pay off. So definitely leave a, leave a comment below on what you think I should use this for or what you would use this for. Go onto my Facebook page and post a comment or like the page. And Facebook is a really good way for me to, to um, connect with my fans so that I can um, talk to them more about um, different ideas whereas on YouTube you really can't have that unless you're messaging back and forth. So if you're interested in my YouTube channel, definitely go on my Facebook and like that. I also have a Twitter, but it's not as um, social networking as Facebook, so I like to just use Facebook especially. And um, that's about it. So thanks for watching and have a good one.